people. It's Vinny, I'm back, and it's a hardware review, people. Firstly, big thank you to Brian Harrison of Suicide Mods, who sent me the Abyss Onyx. So it's the blacked out version. Very nice. I will show you the up close comings and goings on and whatnot. Uh, very shortly. Now this review, um, I've seen a lot of reviews on the Abyss and issues, etc, etc, etc. I'll deal with them in the final section, the pros and cons part. Um, just going to show you how I build the Ether deck. I'm not a mouth to long vapor, so a lot of the bridges and other things aren't that applicable to me. I don't like a lot of the stock coils. So I'm going to show you how I build the ether deck and because I vape 70 dirty juice rather than 50 50 how I wick it. Seems to be a few issues with that. So I'll cover that in the up close. I'll pop a build in courtesy of arms coils. I'm popping one of their aliens in that way around. There we go. On that way around, there we go. I'm putting an arms coil in anyway, and I'm <clears throat> excuse me using some cotton candy as always for my wick. So without further ado, we will do the all close. Okay, folks, here we have the up close of the abyss. You can see the box here, a uh, little sticker in the top corner there saying Onyx, which is the color, which is basically a black. Quick tour around, um, social media of suicide and abyss, and what the package contains, um, everything on there. And obviously, you would get the Nautilus coil adapter as standard in the abyss packaging. Which is great, and I very nicely and thankfully got the Ether um, bridge as well. Thank the Lord, because I'm not a mouse along vapor, as I'll talk about up top when we come back up. Um, sleeve just slides off, and then that looks very stylish. Abyss, uh, Dolpo that side, Suicide that side, nothing on the back. Um, and it just lifts up and you're in that's the 18650 battery adapter i do run mine in 21700 and you get all the usual bits and bobs user manual instructions some black battery wraps nice touch the 18650 top plate for the batteries an absolute shed load of spare o-rings absolutely hundreds of them in there and then everything you need to run the Nautilus coil charger cable and various other drip tips and adaptions for everything else um, but yeah it's a good selection of odds and sods in the box as well as some destructions and the usual bump skip past that and ether deck which i'll show you the deck in a minute because that's what i'm going to build in um usual on the back what's in it etc etc obviously this is the bogan part of this we've been the ether deck um i'll quickly mention the added airflow options they're all different types of restriction of airflow you get in there um, i've got the widest one in um, i'll explain why when I come back up top but yes all these little adapters all go in the bottom of the tank which I'll quickly show you in a second and there's the device um, yes it's got gaps things like that I will come back to them in, when I come back up top quite fiddly I'm not gonna lie to get into and to do things um, but I'll quickly show you the drip tip comes undone you screw it off uh, you can see straight into the tank then and you slide the top plate right off uh, 
and that's where you can get the side by side adapter and run a side by side tank in there that is a floating um, 510 adapter in a way it will be when you put the adapter in anyway um, battery cover just slides off really really simple clever don't have to use it if you've got nice wraps on I've just got the plain molly cell wrap on and that's literally it very very clear very clever um, companies involved suicide dovepo and yeah it's lovely lovely really 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 well designed um, few issues on the execution of this batch which I'll talk about but we'll get on to the build um, let me pop this oh you also get the adapter for the builds which I've got on my Odin 200 which is what I built it on um, I pre-installed this coil it's an um, ums coil I can't even see them because of the lighting I need to sort that out badly uh, it's an ums coil it's an alien which is 3 times 28 wrap 28 gauge and 38 it's about a 0.4 single but I have had to adapt it to fit it in um, that's the tank and the whole thing comes out so that is in essence the ether bridge there and that bit just comes off and then you have the build deck it goes into the adapter so you can fire it on a normal 510 mod this up close camera is pants I do apologize I need to upgrade that and yes I have pre-installed this coil because with my eyesight and my rather fat sausage fingers I have to get quite close to that to put that build in and it was a squeeze to fit that alien in there but it's in now I'm gonna show you how I wit this as best I can with this god-awful camera because unlike most people I think that have done these reviews and show and tells and whatnot I vape 70 30 liquids I'm not a mouth to lung vapor in the slightest I do not like it so obviously using 70 30 liquids with something that's got limited juice wells limited size juice wells I have to thin my cotton quite a lot that is the biggest thing I can tell anyone to regards wicking this and using 7030 liquids if you do it and it vapes fine and no dry hits but very limited flavor you have too much wick you really really need to thin this wick out you'll be surprised how little you actually need for it to work properly really I'm using scissors to thin this out so it's quicker than doing it with uh, my ceramics you see I've been quite brutal there quite brutal snip that off that is very very thin quite raggedy let me neaten that up there we are then it's literally almost like the damming technique on an RTA you just need to tuck the tiniest amount of that cotton into that juice well not ramming it in deep just so it dams the top of it I hope you can see that there it just literally dams in the top Again, I apologise about that old close camera. I've uh, had a period of time away from doing reviews. And I need to uh, sort my old close camera rig out. Just thin out that side. Again, brutal. Really, really thin it out. Less is more on this occasion. It definitely, definitely is definitely is I just realized I wasn't even on camera doing that I'm such an amateur thing uh, we are, that's still too much there really like I say be brutal with your thinning you just literally need to damn 
the top of that juice well just like that and it's sort that side out again because I've squashed it down and that will literally be all you need in there to stop that leaking and to get optimum flavor I'm gonna bring that up to that camera it is tiny amount of cotton really really thinned out for your 70 30 liquids on the ether deck the ether bridge sorry as they call it i'm new to all this billet scene lang lingo and there we go folks i'll pop that in and give it a juice up and wick it up and we shall come back up top and i'll give you my final thoughts pros and cons on the abyss from Suicide and Doppo Mods. Okay, folks, we are back up top with The Abyss from Suicide Mods and Doppo and the good old Bogan and his hand in here as well, I believe. Okay, pros and cons. Now, I'm not going <sighs> to make a big issue with this. Mine has the gap. Now, Dovpo has released a statement. Obviously, you see the gap in here. Dovpo have released a statement now backed up by Brian Harrison and Suicide that they're releasing a kit to change that, to fix that issue, because that's triggering a few people, which I kind of get, but it doesn't bother me in the slightest. It's not as if it leaks through it or anything like that. It's just a little gap. You know, big scheme of things in life. Is it that big a thing? Yeah. It don't bother me. Don't bother me in the slightest. But, fair play to them. I can sort it out. I know customer service at Suicide is really, really, really good. Uh, and Brian in general with his, his all his businesses is really good. So that's kind of a pro and a con, I suppose, in a way, because they're dealing with it and you'll be able to get a free adaption kit to get rid of your gap. I'm not bothered, personally. Um, doesn't affect its use, doesn't affect the flavour, doesn't affect cloud production, it's just a bit of a gap. <laughs> Firstly, pro, innovation. It's not a massive word we hear in vaping these days because, let's be honest, you can't really invent, reinvent the wheel that much. But, this has. Um, to make a thing, it's basically aimed at the bullet box market. Let's not skate around that issue. But it's a fraction of the price of a bullet box. It takes all the bullet bridges, I believe... And then some more that Suicide and Dovpo have made. And I believe there's more coming. The amount of stock Maltolun coils you can use on this device is crazy. Absolutely mental. But, like I, I, I hinted to in the intro of this, I am not a massive mouth along vapor it's not how i vape and it's not for me so i've got an alien coil in here it's reading 0.4 ohms from ohms coils and i use 70 30 liquids it can be done and the flavor and the cloud production and everything is absolutely spot on cannot fault it people i've has said to me oh the ether deck it doesn't give much flavor your wicking is wrong you need to thin your wicks out more especially if you're using 70 30 liquids get them wicks thinned out people get them thinned out and it's flavor town when you do that absolute banging flavor i'm vaping some ultimate puff uh, raspberry sherbet one of my new favorites and it's really zingy and pops and is a sherbet and a true sherbet and the abyss delivers that flavor just as good as many other devices if not better flavor big big pro 
Uh, another pro for me is battery life. I am running a Molly cell in there. Um, they do fit the Molly cells quite clearly because I'm running one. That cell, and this build, 0.4 Alien, running at, what am I running at at the minute? Just over 40 watts, 7.5, 8 hours of heavy use from one cell. Yeah, really. That is it. That, that, that for me was the game changing element. I no longer carry 16 batteries when I go out to work for the day. I take two, just to cover myself. Absolutely cracking. Uh, another big pro for me, you can customize the hell out of this, just like you can your billet boxes. Uh, companies like Bearded Viking Customs, our friend Brent from the LXV show, does just about everything you can ever think of changing colour-wise. Everything, the tank, the tips, the button, the cover... I believe he's doing base plates as well now, and everything else you can imagine, all sorts of different colour variations and crazy things. That's a massive pro. Con. It's friggin' heavy. It really is a heavy little device. Not exactly pocket friendly, but you can turn it off and things like that, and lock the fire button. So, yeah, stick it in your man bag or your handbag well I didn't think I'd like the screen bin on the bottom but to be honest I pay very little attention to the screen being mainly a mechanical mod user um, once I've got it set up and on my sweet spot I just leave it you don't need to constantly look at it your battery goes flat you don't get a hit you change your battery you don't need to keep going, oh, what's it doing? Oh, 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 oh. You know, yeah. Um, another slight con, I've had a little bit of fluctuation on OMS reading. Um, you expect a little bit, sort of, every so often, but this is jumping by 0 0.05, which isn't a massive amount. It's going from 0 0.4 to 0 0.45. So that's not a massive issue, but it's a niggle. But like I say, I don't look at the screen, so I'm not going to know. It still hits, and it still gives me the flavour. And that's, yeah. There is issues. We can't deny there's issues. But they're dealing with them. And you just hear constantly how good Suicide's customer support is. And how involved they are, especially here in the UK. And I'm sure it's the same case in other countries where these are available. But it's just, it is a game changer for me. I, I, I have got into what I class as restricted direct to lung vaping with single coils. Thanks to my friend Josh off the LXV. I've got a Skyler off him, an RTA. And this works in a very, very similar fashion. It just got bit more battery life and I don't care if I damage this whereas I do my vicious arm and for the price 130 quid and you're basically getting the billet box lifestyle on that price which is what, about a quarter of the price of a basic proper billet and you know the flavour it's stunning. I was when I saw these Brian showing these on the various pages. I was like, "Oh, that looks really clever." Now I've got one. I can see the process and the detail and the thought that's gone in it, and the innovation, innovation, innovation. It is massive. It's it is a game changing device. I've used this daily now for about three weeks. And it's always in my rotation. It's never out. The damage scratching is very, very minimal. It's been sat in my cup holder in the car where it sits when I'm not got it in my hand. There's literally no mark on it. So the finish is really, really stuff. Stuff? 
<laughs> tough and sturdy. That's stuff if you're mixing them together. And it's just a really well made four out device. It really, really is. And Brian, it, to come up with this, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Really, really good, solid device. The build deck with someone with sausage fingers like me is a tad fiddly if you're putting in a complex coil like an alien like I have which is why I didn't do that on camera as well as my failing eyesight because I'd be like that doing it not a good video but yeah I, I, I am impressed very impressed and it will stay in my daily rotation for a long long while um, build quality Doppo have maxed it out the park well and truly yeah, there's a gap, but they're dealing with it. Get over it. It's just a gap at the end of the day. It doesn't affect how it works. Just perfect that wicking, people. That is all I'll say. Perfect that wicking and you will get flavour. Flavour, flavour. And there we go, folks. The Abyss gets a nod of approval from Vaping Vinny. For sure. It's a stunning device. Just a bit heavy. Yeah. Get over yourselves. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And I will be back with more reviews. And don't forget the LXV every Friday night at 8 o'clock on the Vaping Vinny channel. Thank you very much, people. Take care. Bye-bye for now.